Hi guys, this is Mike Gallo from the Comic Book Syndicate. We're at the Motor City Comic Con with John Ostrander, legendary writer John Ostrander. Big fan of your work. The first thing I'd like to talk about is Suicide Squad because right now, as you know, Suicide Squad has been featured a lot in um, Arrow in the yep. past season. And there's also a Suicide Squad movie uh, coming out. Yeah. Now, uh, why don't you tell us um, how the idea for that team came from? Because you're the creator, is that right? Uh, well, I, I'm, I'm the creator of the modern Suicide Squad. There okay. was a version that was done in oh, the late 50s, early 60s appeared for about five issues in Showcase. Okay. Never had its own title. And I was at DC and I was trying to find a new book to do. And Bobby Greenberger, the editor I was working with, knew that I wanted to work with Challengers of the Unknown. Sure. Because I think it's a great title. It's one of the greatest titles in comics. But unfortunately, somebody else had it. Okay. So Bobby said, well, we have this other title called Suicide Squad. Mm. Would you like that? And I said, Suicide Squad? What a stupid name. <laughs> okay. Who in their right minds would belong to something that calls itself Suicide Squad? That's a good point. And then the answer came to me. Somebody who doesn't have any other choice. Among other things, prisoners. Sure. And then it came to me. Dirty Dozen, Mission Impossible, mm -hmm. a Secret Society of Supervillains, which is the comic I love. So we focus on the villains. We show that they were strong, capable, dangerous beings in their own right and we put them on secret missions in the U.S. interest but that they could be completely disavowed and if they got killed off who cared. Now what do you think about the first live action adaptation on Arrow? Are you a fan of that? Oh yeah, yeah. In fact I was just talking with Mike Rowe who played Deadshot and I thought he did a wonderful job and it's been a very interesting interpretation. I always understand with with anything that is of mine that's taken put into movies or television is that it's a different medium, and that, that there are going to be changes, and it's going to be altered a bit in order to fit both the format that they're working in and the uh, uh, and the story that they're telling. So sure. I'm fine with it. And what about DC and Warner have made a sort of controversial decision to launch a Suicide Squad film with a completely different set of actors? What do you think about that move? Again, that's their decision. They want to keep their two universes separate. That that makes it different than Marvel, and I understand the reasoning behind it. Um, and if it works for them, okay. I guess time will tell. We'll see, right? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm.